Thursday, September the 16th. Good morning and welcome to the new local news for today. In the headlines, Vice President not pleased with diaspora protesters in the Netherlands, cooperation agreements reached between Suriname and the Netherlands, patient care at Wanika Regional Hospital is a priority, and COVID-19 vaccines expire after more than four months. Vice President Ronnie Brunswijk is not pleased with the diaspora protesters in the Netherlands. President Chandri Kapasak Santoki was booed and even insulted at a lecture for Anton de Kom. Brunswijk strongly disapproves of this. Racial hatred has erupted on social media. The vice president also picked up on those noises. However, he debunks that there would be no unity within the coalition. No, nothing could be further from the truth, says Brunswijk. The president and I are in close contact and we are all in agreement, the vice president emphasizes. He further indicates that the coalition partners, NPS and PL, have expressed their displeasure about their involvement in the government. Suriname and the Netherlands reach various agreements. According to Minister Kenneth Amoxi of Justice and Police, the working visit to the Netherlands was related to the Makandra project. The ministries that reach an agreement will be given the opportunity to submit a project in order to receive support from the Netherlands. One of the projects of the Ministry of Justice and Police is called the Resocialization Project, which means that detainees will be guided to find their way back in society. In addition, they will also follow courses to pick up their social and economic life again. Since 2019, the Suriname Fire Brigade has been collaborating with the Dutch Fire Brigade Canbury in Haagland. According to the Justice and Police Minister, he is trying to raise the standard of the Surinamese Fire Brigade. The focus will primarily be on courses that are not taught in Suriname. Minister Amoxi further indicated that there are limited resources to get the work done properly. Four fire vehicles are also needed nationwide for the various districts. It is a challenge for the ministry, but the minister does not leave anything to chance. And patient care at the Wanika Regional Hospital is a priority, said Director Jason van Genderen. According to Van Genderen, the economic crisis has put a lot of pressure on the financial household of the hospital. Now, limited amount of money is spent on medication so that the care of patients is guaranteed. Van Genderen says that COVID-19 care is also under serious pressure due to the record number of infections recorded daily. This puts a heavy burden on the nursing and supporting staff, which in turn leads to a staff shortage. Van Genderen further indicates that unvaccinated COVID patients are more affected by the Delta variant. He calls on the population to be vaccinated so that the pressure on healthcare can be reduced. On Tuesday, 649 people tested positive for the coronavirus. Never before have so many infections been recorded in 24 hours. And the COVID-19 vaccines currently in use expire after more than four months. So says Dr. Nathaniel Philemon, the coordinator of the vaccination team. He therefore advocates in to increase the vaccination coverage so that the immunity of people is strengthened. According to Philemon, the new COVID-19 variants can have worse effects on the world. Naturally, more than 157,000 people have been fully vaccinated, while 58,000 got their first shot. The government aims to have more than 75% of society fully vaccinated by the end of December. Philemon says that vaccination should take place with a higher frequency if we want to reduce the pressure on the healthcare sector. The community must be aware of the greater purpose of vaccination. President Chandrika Prasad Santoki assured that the vaccination coverage will be increased. According to the head of state, this will also be the case in the region. 
employers will be required to let their employees be vaccinated. Santoki said that the economy can no longer bear the COVID-19 situation. The only option is to get vaccinated. That is it for the local news for today. Tomorrow we will be back with a new edition. Until then, be safe. Bye-bye.